Hey, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So anyways, um, as I was saying the last time, 90,000 pounds of freaking food, of course. Um, let me read it again. 90 million, or 90,000 or 9 million pounds of food. Meat, not in place, inspected by the USDA. So that was the last one. I didn't part one of this thing. So top 50 alternative media, wide awake, truth or news, underground news um, of 2014. So far for the past six months, so why? Uh, Without further ado on that, hopefully, because if you didn't see part one, I'll put the first part in the link to below. The other 50 that I said I was going to do is going to be for another time, Sunday, maybe Monday. Oh, I also want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day, even though this is a lot of doom and gloom, negative news, unfortunately. I'm giving you guys, it's the truth. Hopefully, you spend time with your loved ones, with your fathers that raised you, and if you didn't have a father, even your mother that raised you, or um, family members, your parent, your guardian, your uncle, your aunt, you know, hey. Give them respect on that special day tomorrow, which is Father's Day, which is June 15th, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is probably going to be going up tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday. If it's not Sunday, Monday, it might be Tuesday because it's Saturday evening right now. I'm at 11.30 on West Coast Pacific time. So, as you can tell, I'm in my duds. I actually have to do a couple things for the past four hours because the other one I do is about four hours earlier. Um, I had to go out to the gym for a little bit, you know, do I even live type of shit. <laughs> at least that's the only comedy you'll get here. But, um. Yeah, I still got the other 31 left I have to do out of the 50. So uh, the other 50, I will be doing another one. Hopefully, I don't have to do a two-parter for that like I'm doing with this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So the NSA, pieces of shit motherfuckers, like I said in my last video. <clears throat> the secret trade in U.S. assassination program. My thoughts on that? <sighs> fucking NSA. And that's why I wish Snowden ended up blowing a lot of your guys' fucking cover. So you know how you feel about that, huh? Fucking assholes, I swear. Anyways, number 22, Obama uses DHS as his own, get this, private personal army. How in the fucking hell is Obama even controlling this? I thought it was the Bilderberg Illuminati ignore order. Unless he's still in the Freemasonists, if he's not a puppet or if he is. I never really got that puppet concept, you know. You know, you already know that the Bilderberg, the dipshit tri trilateral agreement, those pieces of shit motherfucking globalist banksters. I don't give a flying fuck about them. That's all I gotta say about that, right? And then the Rockefellers, Ross Charles, they could burn in fucking hell for all they care. And he's, that fucker's gonna be 100 years old. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Because I actually heard some news that that dipshit, David Rockefeller's son, has like 65, 70 times. He's old as fuck. So that means his kids' grandkids are probably around my age. And they're probably pieces of shit stains, just like their fucking grandparents are. I'm glad the fucker died. He was probably one of those fucking Illuminati New World Order fucks. So no, no rest in peace for that piece of shit. If only it was David Rockefeller instead. That piece of me at that puta shit. That's what he is. A Lim Luminatus Freemason as devil worshipping cunt. That's what he is. I don't like that asshole. He's gonna fuck off. Next one up, number, um, that was 20 and 21 and 22. Number 23. Boulder smashes French Alps. And I'm not sure. This is probably not really, like, alternative media related. It could be just a mishap, an average mistake. So check this out. Boulder smashes French Alps tourist train and two dead. Unfortunately, no rest in peace. My heart goes out to those two people that died. And this was about February and March. So this is about three, four months ago. Because we're already in June. It's not February anymore. So yeah, fortunately, um, sadly, um, those people died a couple months ago. If any people haven't heard about it, I may or may not leave all the links below. I'll probably just put it like once again. Gotta be give a shout out to my really awesome good friend, Mr. Main K Electric. He always talks to me. I was subscribed to my Nintendo Sony 3211 channel, but I got a copyright strike, so I had to tell them I had to lie low for about a month or two, so that's why I wasn't doing videos here or that one for about a month or two. So, yeah. So, there's that. Um, he's a really cool guy. I'll put his link down below. This is where I got all the stories. I'm going to put all the videos that I got this information on. I'll put all his videos down below when he talked about them. And you could go to the blogosphere if you want to go down and check his blog out. Um, May K Electric. That's May K M A K A E L E C T R I C. Check his shit out. He is awesome as fuck. He does a lot of really cool undercover commentary. He usually does his Jericho Weekly News Report. So if you want to learn more, more, like wake up a lot more, America, you know, instead of feeding the bullshit media like fucking Fox, CNN bullshit, definitely check his shit out. He is a freaking legend. He's a really cool guy. He's really chill. He's really laid back. And he's not a racist. That's what's cool about him. He's cool with blacks, Latinos, Asians, not just white people. So he's a cool ass guy. Definitely check this shit out. Once again, May K Electric. He's a freaking trooper, that guy. Uh, I, I Hopefully, I pray to pray to God every night, you know, give him strength to keep giving him all this information because he is a boss. He actually knows way more about this shit than I do. He's been awake way longer than me, too. 
I think he's like 30, 35, 40 something. So he's a little older. So he knows about it more than me as far as alternative media. He already knew 9-11 was an inside job when I still thought it was the terrorists and Al-Qaeda, CIA, to, that I thought that were the terrorists. So he knows way more deeper about this alternative media movement. He knows about it a lot more. Bottom line, he's a genius. He's one of the first people I even heard about besides Mark Dice, Fabian for Liberty, um, Christopher Green. He used to be George for title, but I don't really watch his shit anymore because I haven't subbed him. He kept talking about health food and shit, and I really didn't give a fuck about that. Okay, I'm rambling now. So um, the next one, uh, I just wanted to give him a plug in there. So shout out to him. Even though he's got 40, 45,000 subs or six, 8,000, I don't know. I know he's past 1,000, so he's a lot more of a bigger channel than me. Check his shit out. He's awesome. Oh, same with uh, Morning Mayan, a.k.a. Linda West. She's cool. He's really cool with her, too, so check her shit out, too. I'll put both of their channels down below, two of them down in the link description, okay? Co okay, coming in at number 24, alien life forms can be found in 2040. No fucking way. You got to be shitting there. That, I'm not sure if that's really science fiction type of news or if that's still alternative media because he's, another thing about Manke, he talks a lot about strange and bizarre news, um, twisted news, um, news and weather, disaster news, and then he talks about, um, what's it called, a lot of alien sci-fi news, like meteor type of shit. So I don't really cover that part. He covers that a lot more than I do. I rarely ever cover that. The only three things I usually interested in him when New World Order Police State News at um, the globalist World War Three shit news and um, the the main bin. Those are the three I usually follow the most. The other stuff that he covers, I don't really follow too much, but I'll mention them anyways. Side note there. All right, the next one up, Obama. I already said that one. Okay, one hundred thousand, a thousand eggs get recalled after someone after Somali Salmonella. I almost said Somalia. All right, let me say that again. Okay, one thousand eggs recalled after Somalia Somalia. Salmonella. Salmonella outbreak goes crazy. Okay. That's pretty fucked up. Hopefully nobody didn't eat those eggs because they're going to be sick as fuck. <laughs> coming in at number, that was 25. Coming in at number 26. Capital One can now, get this, is for a lot of offshore bankers that are doing this shit now. So if you got Capital One credit card, and this is something you really got to listen to. Luckily, I don't. I got like the regular local Nevada State Bank. So thank God. So it's not with the big giant Wells Fargo or Chase Bank. Um, Bank of America, I'm not with those fucks. I used to be with Bank of America, but two years after I found out about this shit, I completely canceled them. I didn't want shit to do with that Illuminati fucking company. That's why I went local to a state bank instead of like a whole world globalism bank. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Capital One. Capital One can now answer. Now show up, show up in your cars and can show up in your house and houses and workplaces. Where you live at, where you work, where you stay at, what activities you do, they can fucking find you. So in a way, like Manke said, Manke Electric, when he said this, this is like the mafia of the offshore banks or so. Thank God I don't got Capital One. If you guys got Capital One, more power to you because there's going to be motherfuckers hunting you down. And this was like in January when this came out. So so it's like five, six months ago almost. So it's probably old as fuck by now. Coming in at number 27, another teenager, unfortunately. Georgia teenager shot to death when he held... And this is going to make a lot of gamers fucking, like, myself upset when I read this. So, listen to this shit. Teen and Georgia teen shot to death and, by holding a Nintendo Wii U remote. And I would have had one of those, but, uh, let's see. I'm not. I'm not going to take it out. It's real deep in there in my Wii, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's fucked up right there. Let me see. Um, he shot to death because he held a, a Wiimote. The Wiimote's from the cops after this freaking fucked up disaster after the front door. After he opened the front door, that's what he did. So yeah, let me say that one more time. Georgia teen shot to death when he held a Nintendo Wii U Wiimote from cops after he answered the front door. What kind of fucking bullshit is that, you know? Stupid ass Colonel Cops saying, oh, Wii U, fucking PS4 games, PS3 games, PS2 games, you know, Xbox 360, Xbox One game, making fucking violence. Fuck that shit. As a gamer myself, that's fucking bullshit right there. I call bullshit on all levels. That is fucking crap, unacceptable, the cops will lose their fucking goddamn job for that shit, seriously. Okay, coming in at number um, 28, here we go. The U.S. orders power to, um, the power grid to prepare for solar steams. Oh, solar stream, solar steams? That's another really, like, really big outer space science fiction kind of thing, or whatever, and using weather, which I really don't follow too much, so. Mankind knows about that more than I do, that's gonna suck, so EMP attack might happen, I don't know. Coming in at number 29, dolphins. <laughs> I 
That sucks ass. This is a sad story for all the animal lovers. Dolphins suffer um, miscarriages. Yeah, there. Dolphins suffer miscarriages and lung disease um, lasting. Therefore, the B British oil, BP oils, the BP British oil pumping skills, British oil pump skills from the researchers are claiming. All right, let me do that one more time. That sounds fucked up. Dolphin surfers, miscarriages, lungs disease, um, casing, losing teeth, losing teeth from the British oil, British pump oil companies, and that's where the researchers are claiming. That's really fucked up. That's just gonna show you that mankind cannot hold out chemicals when they make atomic nuclear bombs. They pretty much want to destroy the shit out of the living animals too, which is really fucking sad when you think about it. I'm an animal lover myself. I will not want to see an animal get killed. I'm not with a PETA or anything like that. Those, they're extremist fucks when it comes to animals. No. I don't agree with what they do. Plus, they shit it all over Pokemon, and you know I'm a Pokemon fan. Obviously, what? I got the box right there and all the cards, if you can see them. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I've been like that since the 90s. I am might be in my mid-20s. I'm 25 now, but I'm going to be 78 years old, and I'm still going to love the shit out of it. I don't give a fuck what any people say. It's my life. I do what the fuck what I want to do with it. I'm going to do me, you do you, pretty much, you know? I look out for myself, you look out for your own. We keep walking, all right? But yeah, but other than that, I feel bad for dolphins when they're losing their babies and their teeth like that. It just goes to show you the nuclear evilness of man. It's just so fucked up when we make fucking chemical spills like this. All right, num number three, I'm rambling now. <laughs> West Virginia worker fired for because he caught, like, um... Oh, yeah, this is, has nothing to do with alternative. This is just a rant. West Virginia worker um, fired at Pizza Hut for urinating in a sink. That shit is fucking nasty as hell. Thank God he didn't do it for urinating on the freaking bread and shit. Because once in a while I'll eat some pizza or Domino's. And I don't want no motherfucker shitting or pissing or putting their fucking hands when they're all dirty and shit. Doing some fucked up crap like that. Thank God they haven't done it. Thank Jesus. Because that is bullshit. You know? I'm going to call bullshit on that too. Alright. So I'm glad his ass got fucking fired. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Alright. So number 31. Coming in there number 31. This is a little interesting right here. SEAL Team 6 finally gets a congressional hearing from the media blackout. I don't know what that shit was. I think that was from that movie about two years ago, 2012 of December, which was um, Zero Dark Dirty. Zero Dark Dirty. Zero Dark Thirty. The one where they tried to find Osama Bin Laden. It was based on that. That movie was based on that story when 2011, when it happened a year later. They made it in 2012, so about two, three years ago, around that time. I remember it clearly, too. That movie was huge as fuck. Um, I really don't have look too much interest in it, but you can look at it yourself. I'll put all the links down below, the ones I'm telling you about. <clears throat> Next one, number 32. This has to do with iPods and Apples now. Apple security has been breached and should, um, has been breached and should scare you more than Target did. And I know a lot of you people are wondering what happened to Target. October, November of last year, I remember when it was happening in December. There was a lot of hacks with people going out with their Target cards and shit. I don't have a Target card, I don't have a Walmart card, I don't give a fuck about none of those. I really could care two shits and a fuck about that. Because um, I just use regular cash, I don't even give a fuck. Gold and silver, I still do got that too. I got a lot of silver shit. You guys haven't seen any of but I'm hoping one day I can make a video on it. So please be patient with me on that. I will say this, for the people that have Apple, like security and shit, if you got a Mac instead of a PC, be very aware of that shit. And this was like back in March too, so it was about three, four months ago. So I'm not sure if this is still going on or not. So um, number 33, Obamacare. Now, let me see. Hold on. I cannot even remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Obamacare now appears on your restaurant bill. That shit kind of scared the fuck out of me. Seriously, I'm not going to lie. I don't really eat restaurants. I don't really use credit cards. I usually debit code sometimes. A little bit every now and then. You saw my debit on my Nintendo free channel. If you haven't, check the link down below. I'll leave the that that video that I did. Show my debit and shit. It was like a MasterCard thing. But that's all I'm going to tell you. It was MasterCard. That's it. Um, let's see. That's fucked up. That's all I, I can tell. Obama, he's just being too much of a power-hungry, struggling puppet. Fuck. That's what he's being. I know a lot of people hate Obama. I don't give a shit about Obama. It's the people behind him. The Bilibers, Illuminatus, Trilaterals, Globalists. Those are the fucks that I hate that are controlling Obama. Don't hate Obama. Hate the people controlling that piece of shit. All right? So um, that's number 33. Number 34. Let's see. Coming in at 34, it says, New York City officer. This is fucked up. More police brutality, police state shit right here, people. This pisses me the fuck off. New York City officer pulls a gun and due to a snowball fight and lies about it, saying that he was attacked. What a bunch of fucking mierda, pinche maricón bullshit right there. Seriously? 
I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I got my water right here. You probably saw my um, thing earlier. No, nope, it's off now. My, um, I forgot what it was. My laptop. Da da da. In the words of Carlos Mencia. Da da da. I'm born Dorian. I'm not Mexican. If any people know who that is, he's a funny ass dude, you know? No, oh, but seriously, um, he was in Comedy Central for a little bit too, but going back to this is another case, unfortunate police brutality, police state. This is some of these officers are way too fucked up the ass. They got their heads so far up, shoved up their ass. It's just, they, they think they're mightier than God because they have a gun and they could pretty much bend the laws as much as they want. Some of them, unfortunately, get away with this, but others, they get their shit slammed in the fucking slammer. That's what they do. Get in the fucking slammer, never get the fuck out. That's what those fucking cops can do. Not every cop I know is corrupted. Some are really nice officers. I'll, I'll give respect to the officers that I will say that really do earn my respect. If they treat me like a human and not like a fucking machine, then I'll respect them, you know? The people that are really cool and really relaxed, chill cops, you know? That they don't take their job seriously just arresting motherfuckers left and right because of um, racial fo profiling, they had a bad day, they got the, got up on the wrong side of the bed type of shit. You know, that's cool. They can they can relax with me, I'd be relaxed with them. I could even be a friend to an officer, maybe if they're outside of work. If they're a regular person, I'll chill with them. But if not, they're gonna be an asshole fucking cunt I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to have nothing to do with them, pretty much. That's what it boils down to. So, I'm um, coming in at number 35. This one's a little bit weird. Okay, speed. Special ed student. This was really fucked up and weird. Special fucked up. No, not special ed. Pfft. Special ed student tased, choked, and tackled. Literally electrocuted. Then killed. And um, then killed in school. Very graphic video warning. And very bad illness, too, unfortunately. This is another reason why the school system is so fucked up. These I remember about five, six years ago, actually six years, because when it was June 9th, it's the 14th now, because it's midnight now, about a week and a half ago, um, that's when I graduated high school, June 9th of 2008, it's 2014 now, so I remember about six years ago, six years and a week ago, after I graduated out of high school at that time, uh, I've seen so many abuses, well, a lot of fucking teachers, they treated the special ed Autism kids like shit. And that pissed me the fuck off because this just goes to show you how corrupt school systems, how much teachers don't give a shit about their payroll, their shitty fucking pay, how much they don't give a fuck about the educational system that they should treat students with respect and then the teachers get respect back. But unfortunately, that's not how school works anymore, especially in high school. There's a lot of fucking asshole in the head, not pieces of shit. Sometimes it's the fucking student that's an asshole, but other times it's the teacher that's an asshole. He's in the wrong instead of the student being in the wrong. And, there's a big giant debate I can do, and then I could go on for hours with that, but I'm not going to waste your guys' time, so I'm going to go to the next one. The next one is a little bit weird. It has something to do with the disease outbreak. Mysterious polio illness outbreak disease affects kids in California, the Bay Area. Kids affected by um, polarisis, too. I don't know what polarisis, too, but, um, but I feel really bad for those kids. Hopefully they're feeling better because this was, once again, in March when this came out, so it's been about three months since this happened, so my heart and soul goes out to those people that, um, the kids that did get sick, hopefully they had a speedy recovery, and hopefully they're not dead, and that they're still breathing to this day, and hopefully they were nice, too. Um, coming in at number 37, here we go. This one, let me see, this was kind of weird as shit. This is another sci-fi, like, um, weather and news kind of thing, so it's not really alternative media that much, but I'm gonna read it anyways. Scientists confirm free light energy. I don't really understand that shit. Maybe it's light from solar energy coming from the sun, but we can use solar panels. I don't know. That's the only thing I can say about that. Coming in number 38. Michigan man kills himself after gunfire. Gunfire arm. I cannot even read my own writing. That's a shame, isn't it? Let me read this one more time. Michigan man kills himself after gunfire, gunfire armed with the demonstration. That's fucked up right there. That's what he did. So he was, I guess he was dead giving a demonstration. That's what it was. Michigan man kills himself after gunfire demonstration. That's fucked up shit. That's kind of sound, if any people that seen that 2006, 2007 video with the black guy where he comes out like, hey, this is a gun. I'm going to use it. And when he puts it in his pocket, he's like, Phew. it's like, oh shit, oh shit, I broke my leg, I shot my leg, you know. That's what it reminds me of. If any of you people remember that 06, 2007 video, it's old viral video. I'll put it down below just in case you want to refresh your memories. When he said, this is a 40 caliber, this ain't no 50 cent, no video games, real life, and after that, he shoots himself. I think it was about 16, 17, maybe 18 when that came out. It was a couple of years ago. I'm 25 now, so 
eight, nine years. It's been a while. That was one of the first YouTube viral videos. It's one of the legendary ones. Check that shit out. Put it down below if it's still around. Um, it's probably 80, 90 million views by now. Um, let's see. The next one I wanted to talk about here. Number 39. 33 dead in a stabbing spree and 130 people were injured. This was in Japan. I remember this was in March. In late March, early April when this came out. So it was like two, three months ago. It was pretty recent almost in a way. I mean, it's old as fuck. But I remember this crazy Asian motherfucker who was stabbing people left and right. And 33 got killed. And it was a big, giant fucking butcher knife. Like, it's straight out of the Scream Michael Myers movie. Seriously. And it's a lot of fucked up people's mentality. Especially in Chinos. You know I love Asians. I love Japanese. I love my anime. I love my manga. I love beautiful Japanese women. I love the nice cars. I love their TVs. I love their freaking badass, kick-ass Japanese Asian food. And that's pretty much it. I love a lot of their Japanese history. And their Japanese movie. It's cool as fuck. I'm a Japanese fanboy in a way. I really want to go to Japan one day. That's one of my ultimate goals before I do die. Is, that's one of my bucket list, really. I really want to go to Japan. Besides, I want to go to the Philippines, Italy, some parts of Europe I might go to, like Germany, Amsterdam. And if I ever become rich, that's the first places I'm going to. And then maybe Australia and Puerto Rico are the last two I want to go to. It's Puerto Rico, obviously. I got like a lot of cousins and family out there besides New York, New Jersey. But I really want to go to Puerto Rico, too, before I die. Same with Australia, except I don't have no family over there. I do know a lot of YouTubers out there, so hopefully one of them can, you know, let me stay for about a day or two, you know? Because then I'll get a hotel after. I don't know how this... Any Australians that are watching, tell me how much the hotel rent is over there. I would be more than happy to do that. How much is it a night over there? If you can give me the cheapest one. Not in a super ghetto area, but maybe a middle class. I don't know. I'm rambling now. So I'm um, coming in number 40. FBI releases top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States. I really don't have any comment for that, really. Okay, coming in number 41. Because there's a lot of fucked up states. There's L.A., Compton. There's fucking Detroit, Michigan, New York, New Jersey. A lot of ghetto-ass shitty fucked up cities there. It's all over. The Midwest, the South. I know they have a lot of ghetto-ass trap places. Like a lot of where African Americans are or Latinos live at. There's a couple white people that live in ghettos too. I know this. So I'm not being racist, I'm just saying. That's the only comment I can get with that. 41, okay. American flag, yeah. American flag banned in California school. I remember this because there was a lot of Latinos complaining that since they're from Mexico, Nicaragua, Colombia, um, what else? Guatemala, what else? Um, Belize. I'm saying it in the Latino, I'm not saying the white version. Like, no offense to white people. Um, what else? Um, Honduras, Venezuela, Argentina, what else? Chile, Ecuador. Brazil, all that shit, you know. A lot of Hispanic, like middle, like central area and southern South America countries, they got really pissed off at us, so they wanted a Latino kind of flag. Any of those Latino Hispanic flag, instead of the American flag. In a way, I can relate to that. Even though that's not my homeland, that's mostly on my family's land and my grandparents, great grandparents' land, not mine, unfortunately. So I was born and raised in the U.S. and the East Coast of New York, so. Fortunately, I really don't have a say in that. You know, I should love the American flag. I mean, I'm still proud of being a Hispanic, a Mexican, Puerto Rican, but the thing is, I'm still American, so I got to be surprised for the, you know, represent for the U.S. flag, too. So I got three flags I kind of got to represent. And maybe four, because I do got five, ten percent Spaniard in me, Spanish, you know, it's España, Spain, you know, Portugal shit. Not Portuguese, though, but, yeah, let's keep it moving. So, uh, number 42, Russia decides to abandon... Abandon the U.S. dollar. This is really big for the gold and silver guys out there. For the U.S. dollar threatening to get rid of its debts. That pretty much shows you that the dollar collapse is pretty much on its way up and running. This was in March, too. So this was about three months ago. They said March it was going to be a global economic collapse. But no. It's already June going almost July in two and a half more weeks. So still hasn't happened yet. Doom and gloom is still not here. So uh, let's see. Coming in at number 43. Alright, I kind of had a hard time understanding this one, but I wrote it anyway. So it says, station offline, oh yeah, stations are line, seismic, yeah, I'm having a hard time reading this. Um, seismic system station is offline due to explosions in Calgary, this was March 5th when this came out, so um, three months ago. So I guess a lot of seismic earthquake waves, the things, the seismographs, the, the ones that read earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, I guess they blew up for like two weeks and I had to give them almost a month to fix. So I guess April is when they got them up and running. So shout out to my seismologists, geologists out there that are controlling, not controlling, but studying the ways of like how the earth moves and shit and the tectonic plates are. I don't know shit about that because I'm not a geologist or seismologist. I'm going to leave that in your professional hands, people. 
So, uh, yeah, let's see. Coming in at number 44, Massachusetts says, oh, yeah, I remember this. This was actually cool. I like this one. So this was in Doom and Bloom. It was something funny I just had to put in. Massachusetts says that it's okay to have upskirt photos of women legally. And um, unfortunately, um, back in my um, 90s kids and teens years, I really don't want to, like, <laughs> admit it, but I have to. Because a lot of you know I sometimes, occasionally, not all the time, Weekends, I might end up having sex with a lot of women and shit. A few. One or two. Not prostitutes, just girls that I know with friends with benefits. I'm not going to say their fucking names either, but I will say um, I was happy because I was extremely perverted back in the day. I'm not going to lie. I used to slap bitches' asses all the time. I'm not going to lie. Um, middle school and high school, I was very notorious for that. So I kind of got suspended a few times. Lucky for me, I still graduated. Thank God. Um... Yeah, so it was pretty much good news for me when I heard about this a couple months ago. Awesome. If I ever visit Massachusetts out there, bet your ass I'm going to be slapping some butt. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Something choked in my throat. I don't know what it was. Sorry, I'm just a man. Man has urges. Men, we got urges sometimes, you know? Sorry for the females watching this, but no, no offense to the feminists, but I just like me some ass. And tits, too. I'm a man. You know, what, what do you expect me? I'm not a homosexual guy, you know? If I was in the homos, I'd be different. And thank God I'm fucking not. Because I need pussy. I don't want no fucking dick. Fuck that shit. Alright, so um, number 45. Coming in number 45. So it said, this one was cool as fuck. I actually like this shit. Secret clothing, secret cloaking device. Stealth scientists reveal invisible cloak technology. If any people have ever played Metal Gear Solid, like Silas Snake when he does that like invisibility cloak shit, or Harry Potter when he puts that big giant cape on and makes it invisible, they're making that shit into a reality, which is cool, but at the same time, it scares the fuck out of me because a lot of the New World Order Illuminati are probably going to use this for a disadvantage to take out a lot of the resistance, which is obviously me, the people that like to speak against the bullshit government that goes on in this bullshit fucking world. So I'm real happy about this, but then I'm scared about it too, so uh, take that with a grain of salt if you want. So um, coming in number 46, illegal immigration changes um, gives legal status to un- documented res relatives to the U.S. military. I was actually happy about this, which is cool, because a lot of my Latino, Hispanic people, they don't have to suffer as much anymore with this shit, which is cool. Well, you know, viva me viasa, mi gente, you know, what's up? You know, ya tu sabes, maricones. You know, that's up. <laughs> you know, um, if you're not Hispanic, you probably understand what that was, but if you are, ya tu sabes, we. you know. Viva me viasa, maricones. But anyways, yeah, that's cool as fuck. I know a lot of white people are going to have, a lot of racist white fucks are probably going to have a lot of problems with that. But me being Hispanic, I'm totally cool with that. But as far as the drug cartels and the rapists, I'm not cool with that. So well, other than that, coming in at number 47 now, listen to this shit right here. Um, let's see. Very wealthy, rich helicopter, well, yeah. very wealthy, rich helicopter chase in Norfolk. I don't know where that is. I don't have a comment on it because I didn't really dig too much info on it, but I'm going to have to pass it. Sorry. Coming to number 48. A vast hidden surveillance network runs across America. And it says powered by the repo industry. Fucking bullshit right there. I know. It sounds like NSA shit, so they can go fuck off. That's all I got to say about that. So, uh, number 49 now. Oh, yeah. The last two because I'm going to stop under 50. I almost forgot about that. 49 and 50, okay, Vladimir Putin nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize? The fucking hell. You think the Nobel Peace Prize was supposed to be a people like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, people that did good shit in this world. Um, John Lennon, um, Gandhi, who else should have deserved it? Um, very heroic people that fucking saved this earth almost. Like um, that guy, Sully, the one that ended up saving all those people on the Canadian thing, on the Canadian lake, they should get fucking Nobel Peace Prize. The people that put time and effort to save somebody else's life. Like that dude that saved that those three girls, the Moreno black guy, the one that um uh, the one that was like um he was saving for that crazy Puerto Rican motherfucker. You know I'm Puerto Rican myself, but it's fucked up. You know, it's bullshit. And I'm glad this guy, he should have got a Nobel Peace Prize. For real cool people like that. They need to get the Nobel Peace Prize. Not these billionaire fucking entrepreneurs, dipshit fucks, little faggot goddamn fucking cunt suckers, cocksuckers, because they're bullshit, you know? That pisses me the fuck off so much. Especially Vladimir Putin. Fuck that asshole. Plus he's a homo like phobic or whatever. He hates faggots and gay people. Which, you know, I don't really give a shit about them either. I'm cool with homosexual people. The thing is, as long as they don't talk about no sexual shit with me, I'm cool with them. 
You know, I don't have no problem. And they want to be gay, be with another guy, hey, more power to them. I don't give a fuck. The thing is, just don't tell me about none of that bullshit. You know, if it's a woman, then that's different. And lesbians, I don't give a shit about either. I don't really care. You know, they want to live their life. I'm not going to tell them how to do it, okay? That's what it comes down to and boils down to. So, last one, number 50, for this first part one, part one and two, and the next one's probably going to be part three. Whew. This one's a little weird right here. Um... This shit is really fucking weird. It blew the fuck out of my mind right here. Laser security defense system deployed this summer. For real. Ends up becoming a reality. Oh my god. The thing that scared the fuck out of me with the laser security defense. I'm not sure if they're talking about Star Trek, Star Wars, laser beams. Making them into real life. That sounds like a fantasy game, I swear. But if they're making that to reality like some Call of Duty shit or whatever. Or Battlefield. That's going to be a huge ass fucking problem. Because there's going to be a lot of dead motherfuckers. Unfortunately, a lot of innocent people and innocent bystanders are going to have to lose their life as a government project. That, that fucking pisses the, me the fuck off, seriously. And then with that all said, that's number 50 right there. So the other 50, I will cover my part 2 of this video. Even though it's going to be part 3 because I had to cut the first video short because I had to do some gym, a couple errands before I got back. So it's officially about... Oh, let me turn this on really quick. Hold on. Let me just check the time real quick see how long this has been going on. See my shirt in the background if you want. <laughs> Give me like two minutes and I will be back with you. Hold on. It's officially 11.30 now. I thought it was midnight, so I guess not. So uh, you can see the wall ring on it. I'm going to be doing that on my Nintendo Sony 2011 channel for the top 10 most hopeful Pokemon to get Mega Evolutions for Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Be on the lookout for that. That's the only update I got for you. So that's all I got to say for now. So like I do say, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys every day, every night, wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Um, you guys every day, every night, wherever you're around the universe. And I will talk to you guys soon, all right? Take care, peace out, be easy, and I will see you guys next time. And uh, one other thing before I do go, I am going to be doing another trailer review, trailer reaction review for Dumb and Dumber. So check that shit out. My 90s nostalgic drive right there. I was about 6, 7 when that shit came out. So I'm so happy they're doing a, re a sequel for this shit. And Jim Carrey's still in it. Awesome shit. And even the old dudes in there. All right, take care. Peace out, Lates, and I will talk to you soon, all right? Take it easy. Be safe. And, um, yeah, see you around. I'm out. Goodbye, and um, later.